but I, something like it's like staring at an 18% grey card. It's just boring. I uh, have always had a soft spot for Dido. Um, just I've always quite fancied her. Is it because she's a pretty lady? It is. Well, I do want to say it's because she's not too pretty. She looks to me. She's always looked like she was someone who was perhaps working in a photocopying shop, <laughs> and a musician went and he said, "Oh, you're a pretty lady. Uh, we need someone to front a, uh, a record, actually." And she said, "Well, I can sing quite well." And he came along to a karaoke evening. She did a couple of numbers. She was quite good. They got her in the recording studio. And I've always fe- felt for that reason that she was maybe accessible. Of all the big stars out there, I could possibly. I've always felt I could possibly pull Dido. <laughs> Just, you know, I could charm her with, uh, I, could, I could compliment her on her music, you know, and I just feel like she would maybe uh, succumb to my charms, which is one of the reasons I've always had a soft spot for her. Uh, Dan, <laughs> do you feel the same way? Um, she's a pretty lady, yeah, I'll give you that, but uh, that, 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 that's just nothing, is it? That's, that's not even bland enough to be bland. You can't even get a handle on it. I can't, I don't hate it, but I don't like it. Did we even play it? <laughs> Does it exist? What I, are I we talking know. about? What, what, what I was cannot it? remember. I, I can't remember. It's just... Um, I don't want to... Uh, uh, you know, I don't want to make that sound too harsh because she might be walking down the street when we go out and she's a pretty lady and, you know, <laughs> she might she might prefer the shorter man to the taller she's man. Pretty. You know, she's showering me with attention and we've got to go off to a pub and she starts getting around in, you know. Yeah, I'm waving got, me awards in her face. <laughs> yeah, she's not interested. Why are you interested. Doing talking to Titch? Yeah. <laughs> But well, she's not interested, you know, she ain't got work tomorrow. So <laughs> she hasn't got a new album's finished. She yeah, there's exactly. probably, you know, it's central London, there's probably loads of places open lately. Oh, Dido can get it anywhere. Yeah, 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 that as well. So I don't want to, you know, be too harsh on her. Of course. Um, but, but what was it What was it again? What were we talking about? I don't know. Who? Who was it? Who was it? Where are they? <laughs> Alright, listen, we have to go to a trial, but after that, I'm quite excited to hear this, not heard it yet. It's Jack White, and I think she, he's teamed up with Alicia Keys, is that right? And it's the uh, forthcoming James Bond theme mm. tune. Check it out after this. Mark Riley, Monday to Thursday. Of course, he features in the forthcoming James Bond film, Quantum of Solace. He has a small role. Uh, hopefully he'll be back with us when we return in a month or so. Um, and I'm also quite pleased that Jack has not tried to name the song Quantum of Solace. Mm. I think that would have been quite tricky. Oh, <laughs> Quantum of Solace. You're so beautiful, you're like a Quantum of Solace. <laughs> um, uh, so I've no idea what Quantum of Solace is. I'm sure we'll find out um, when the uh, film is released. And of course, that is the, uh, the theme to the new Bond film. Uh, they've rather wisely called it Another Way to Die. Quite a generic uh, Bond theme title. Jack White and Alicia Keys, I think they uh, replaced Amy Winehouse, who was originally scheduled to do it, and uh, for obvious reasons she uh, wasn't able to. So, um, there we are. Hmm. Mm. Started strongly. Did it keep your interest, Dan? Um, I did like it, actually. Yeah, the, uh, I always, they always come out, don't they, the new theme, and there's always something, usually in the Sun gossip page, about the Bond theme purists won't be happy with this. And I wonder who they are. Who are <laughs> yeah, Bond exactly. theme purists? Yeah. Who are out there? Going, mm. They have little meetings? Bond yeah. Bond theme purists, man. <laughs> uh, and if it doesn't sound exactly like Goldfinger, <laughs> furious! Yeah. Uh, but there's, there's a little bit to calm them, you know, as they hurl their radios out the window right now. You know, there's strings in there. There's a sort of big brass stab now and again. Um... I liked it, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, the requisite big sound. It, uh, I thought it, it, it had a nice kind of freshness to it, which is obviously what they're trying to do with the films now, is keep mm. them a bit more kind of up to date. And um, often I think I've heard the James Bond themes in the past. I remember there was one with the woman from Garbage, and I think possibly Tina Turner or someone did one recently in the last sort of ten years or so. And um, when you hear it on the radio, you think, oh, it's a bit of a dr- drudge. But somehow in the cinema in 5.1 Dolby surround sound with the credits rolling and maybe a kind of the shadow of a nudie lady mm. writhing on a gun um, it all seems to make <laughs> sense uh, do you think that's going to be the case with that one? I'm not so struck on nudie ladies but I, I think that works generally I'd quite like to listen to that in the car on the radio um, the only thing I had against it was just towards the end some white stripesy guitar nonsense that was possibly unnecessary and at times I couldn't tell them apart when they were singing Alicia and Jack but that's not a bad thing they've both got beautiful voices I enjoyed it thoroughly enjoyed it a lot less dull than the last one which was just ridiculous I don't even remember what it was exactly who was it? Mm. Was it Dido? it was Dido it was, it was, a, Dido. It was a man uh, but Chris Cornell there Chris you go. Cornell don't even know who he is <laughs> don't even care who he is he could be the lead singer of my favourite band and I don't even care um, alright well we've got to squeeze a couple more tunes in before the end of the show and I want to play this one um, Lamb Shop have a new album they are called uh, they are called Lamb Shop. <laughs> <laughs> the album is called Ohio. And the reason I got flummoxed for a second was because I couldn't remember. Um, is there a chance that they might be performing for the Steve Show or whoever's standing in the future? Can I mention that or should I not have said that? Do you know when that's likely to be? It's, um, I'll, I'll look 
you'll look it up for us but uh, yeah hopefully Lamb Chop will be in session for um, one of the people that, who will be standing in when I am away doing uh, fairy like stuff here's Lamb Chop title track from the new album Ohio oh oh hi Lamb Chop title track from the new album uh, Ohio and as I say Lamb Chop will be in session for the Steve Show 2nd of November so uh, I look forward to that I'm dis- disappointed that I won't be here um, I'm going to be in Canada as I say rainy season in Canada <sighs> take an umbrella if you're going good public service radio that uh, I'm very pleased with myself if you're a James Bond fan by the way and also a fan of Adam and Joe then you should check out the uh, Six Music website um, on the Adam and Joe page Joe Cornish has done a, a fantastic Bond theme of his own and he's uh, cut it together with uh, various images which you can guarantee will be charming and fun so uh, check that out yes on the Six Music website go to Adam and Joe and uh, you'll enjoy it there um, it's almost the end of the show guys what have you got lined up uh, over the um, forthcoming weeks and months uh, oh, <laughs> nothing at all. Okay. Um, I'm just going to sit like a, a sad puppy awaiting your return. Okay. I'll be at Heathrow. Good. Just like the old days when we used to live together. Yes. Boiler's not working, by the way. Is it your fault? Well, I left a year ago. I don't think it is. Sounds like it could be. Uh, <laughs> freezing cold as well. If anyone knows a good uh, boiler man, <laughs> then uh, do please get in touch. In fact, I wish I put that cry out earlier yeah, on because I'm going to have to go into a mm. freezing house. Mm. Sammy, what's going on? You've got all sorts of stuff cooking. Yeah, um, I've just started university, so I've got to take a lot of photographs. And I started a new job, yes. Today. I'm now a milkshake maker. Really? Does your milkshake yeah. bring it all to the yard? Uh, and yeah, and I'm like, it's better than yours. But uh, I've had a few accidents, but I think I'm going to get there. Good. Okay. And what kind of people? Because I would imagine that's quite a good place to work because you won't get a lot of depressive people ordering a milkshake. You wouldn't, if you're feeling a bit blue, you don't go in for a milkshake. Well, it would cheer you up, to be fair. I've come out of customer service. I have been working on telephones in a call centre, which was pretty bleak. So going into a milkshake environment is quite exciting and uplifting. But a lot of the customers are emo. Emo, emo Emo. fans of the milkshakes, that's Mm. interesting. I mean, they are quite dour and glum when they take the milkshakes, but I assume they're smiling inside. I want a milkshake black. (laughs) Give me a black, (laughs) coal milkshake to represent my face. (laughs) (laughs) My soul. Oh, no, there's going to be emo fans getting in touch. They're going to be furious. Um, Okay, listen, we have to get going. I want to squeeze in another tune or a little bit of it before the news. Uh, Raw Treatment Plant uh, out this single a couple of months back or a month or so back. Uh, Undercurrent is a good tune. We'll leave you with that. And um, we've got Stuart McConey next. So thank you so much. We'll be back in a month or so. And it's uh, Ricky Wilson and friends from the Kaiser Chiefs next week. Bye. 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 Can you hear me? Yeah? I think I can hear you. Yeah. 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 Can, uh, can you hear me? Can the hang listeners on, no, hear me? Hang on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. No, I don't think they could, because I think you've got... Because they could hear you before they could hear me, Rufus, which is an absolute shock. Well, yeah. not people saying. I know that's what people have tuned in for, mm. but that's an absolute <laughs> disgrace. Right. If you've got the... Hang on, let, I'm going to fade you down. Keep talking. Okay, keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. You're on the main no. presenter mic. I don't oh. believe it. It's a what is this? Is this some kind of coup? Well, welcome back. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's like we've been away and we can't remember how everything works. Yeah, yeah. it's exactly like that. Well said, um, Sammy. That's an absolute. <laughs> <laughs> that's an absolute scandal. Well, listen. Um, I mean, I, it's all gone to pieces. It's such a shame as well because I was really hoping this would be a dynamite show. You know, yeah. a lot of big wigs are listening. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of vacancies at Radio Two. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really thought. I really thought we could. Is, uh, uh, who's not speak? Who's not spoken yet? I'm over here. You're over here. Yeah, it's you're, right. you're loud. You're loud and clear. Sammy from the north. Hello. Yeah. Posh Roof is here. I said guest mic three on my mic, but apparently I'm more important than you, so mm-hmm. interesting. Tiny, tiny Dan? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, me too. Harry one. works in a bank, so he's uh, entirely responsible for the current credit crisis. Ooh, uh, yeah, a lot of people yeah. worried. No, a lot of people hate me. Yeah. A lot of people hate- there was a YouGov poll commissioned by the Daily Telegraph which said that if anyone knew who I was, I'd have a lower rating, uh, likability-wise, than John Leslie. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so with none of the fringe benefits. So it's, it's <laughs> they awful. are they are plenty. Um, you know, we've talked in the past about how um, the listeners have no attention span. We have to get some, some more new music and old music. Um, anyway, Steve Show, back. Uh, apologies for being away for so long. I'm sure we'll discuss what's been happening um, after we've heard from Ben Folds. From Ben Folds' last solo album, 
songs from Silverman that uh, well, folds obviously and landed and uh, very pleased to announce that folds will be uh, I don't know why I'm calling him folds it's like, I, it's like I'm uh, we're at public school hey foldsy folds um, yeah Ben folds uh, will be here later on to uh, have a chat with us uh, about his new album and uh, I'm sure we'll talk to him about other things uh, as well Steve show back after what was it three months we decided it, three months. Mm, it feels yes. like we've yeah. been away a long time are you on the mic uh, no I am yeah thank that. you very much yeah. no problem uh, yeah we got it's, it's bound to be touch and go this show it's bound to be some ups and downs some highs and lows uh, because we've been away for such a long time a lot of us forgot how to do it a lot of us couldn't really do it when we were here before Thanks for looking directly at me with that comment deal with it <laughs> um, so yes but we, we should sort of reintroduce ourselves in some sense um, Steve Merchant uh, needs no introduction <laughs> um, but uh, these guys do yeah we spoke to Harry earlier but it works in a bank yeah I do I work in a bank troubled times it's been a tough three months actually I thought I'd enjoy the time away you know to, to sort of get back to my my daytime job but it's been hell yeah, hell. murder. Um, what's because I've been uh, for people who don't know, I was. Uh, I'm not going to boast, but I was uh, <laughs> shooting a movie that you're all going to be first in line for, come next November <laughs> when it's scheduled <laughs> to be released. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got such confidence in it that uh, next November they're going to rush it out. Um, but uh, yeah, it's the Tooth Fairy. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, uh, brilliant. Uh, plays the Tooth Fairy and I'm his assistant he needs a lovable English assistant who they come to it's only Mercho <laughs> and uh, yeah so I don't wear a tutu just to make it clear I don't have oh. tights I don't want to ruin things for you but um, what do you well, you could tell us briefly about your costume couldn't you I don't want to give much too much away but I've got a waistcoat okay <laughs> um, <laughs> a tie and a waistcoat it's not striped no I'm more of an administrative fairy thanks for asking so uh, okay. it's uh, I did a lot of research spent a lot of time with oh come on that's just cheap <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah I wear grey I'm sort of in grey oh. and um, yeah but I think you'll enjoy it I think there's some you know uh, when we last spoke it'd been early days and he'd done a couple of scenes whereas now I can confidently say that uh, there's some dynamite material between me and uh, and DJ plus of course when uh, Dame <laughs> Julie Andrews makes an appearance whoa things go up a gear I can tell you <laughs> so uh, no I'm not jo- I'm th- I think it's going to be pretty good I'm quite looking forward to it it's got special effects you know humour pathos, emotion. Do you fly and stuff in it? I don't want to give anything away. Oh. I don't want to give anything away. Every time it gets juicy, you back off. Yeah, well, yeah. because I don't know what the rules are. I don't know what 20th Century Fox will, um, you know, will You don't want Dwayne over. hunting you down if you reveal anything. That's exactly shit. right. No. Um, but yeah, and also, I want to tease you. I want to keep you, uh, you know, I want you to pencil in that You're going to string date. it out for a year. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'll be bored by that. Well, <laughs> we shall see be, when it hits the screens. <laughs> and uh, the great thing is that um, if it is a success, I'm obligated to do a sequel. Oh, so we're all, really? Yeah. Uh, we are absolutely, don't go and see it, absolutely obligated. Can't get out of that one. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but anyway, so that's to look forward to. Uh, that's what I've been up to, and uh, I was spending a lot of time in Vancouver and also in uh, City of Angels, Los Angeles. <laughs> um, but uh, what have you been up to, Super Posh Rufus? I mean, what? I'll be honest with you straight away. If the listeners have not sought you out in the current James Bond film, Quantum of Solace, they will have been severely disappointed. They will, Steve. I've, uh, message boards across the country have been ablaze, across the world have been ablaze about my very short but very important turn. Has everyone here seen the film, Quantum mm. of Solace? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just one. But you've seen it, Steve. Yeah! You? Yeah. New producer, Alicia, have you seen the new Bond film? Yeah, okay, great, that's good. Well, of course, that's been very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Um, and a lot of good feedback from that? Yeah, pretty good. And it's nice, actually, because uh, a lot of people uh, people I was at school with and people I used to work with have been getting in touch for 20 years, you know, and like, oh, just seen you in the Bond movie, so that's nice. Sure. They and, want an um, autograph of yeah. Daniel Craig for Christmas to give to the sort of thing, yeah, quite a lot of stories. I've started flogging the stuff I was given for making the movie on eBay to make some money. Excellent, why not? <laughs> yeah, uh, the why not? <laughs> cash, the check I got in February has dried up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's not been much else. So, Since? no, the leather, the leather goods branded with 007 have, well, they may make their way onto eBay. Straight on to the buy Christmas presents for people, or I'll just give them to people for Christ- as Christmas presents. Why not? Yeah. Um, but uh, in terms of uh, my um, my poshness, that's that's taken quite a leap. Really, I didn't yeah. think any, you could get any posh. Found 